Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Uh, Today's devotion will be out of 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 through 4. It says, I urge you, first of all, to pray for all people. Ask God to help them, intercede on their behalf, and give thanks for them. Pray this way for kings and all who are in authority, so that we can live peaceful and quiet lives marked by godliness and dignity. This is good, and it pleases God our Savior, who wants everyone to be saved and to understand the truth. When you look at these scriptures, the first one, um, it says, I urge you, first of all, to pray for all people. And uh, let's just talk about prayer uh, for just a moment, you know, uh, which I, the whole thing is about prayer. But let's just talk about praying in general um, real quick. And, and one of the things that's very easy with our schedules and, you know, different uh, things that we have going on and how busy our lives are, um, it's very easy to neglect our prayer life. I mentioned that before in other devotions and different things like that. And, and it's a big thing. We, it's very easy for us to kind of put that to the side or do a very quick prayer instead of spending intentional time with God. And, uh, and this is one of the things that I'm working on too. Um, you know, I've been trying to do better lately, especially. Um, and, and I don't know if we ever get to the point to where we say, wow, we prayed enough. Um, but, but I do feel like that we need to make sure that we're being, um, uh, constant and consistent, uh, in our prayer life and, and not just also in, in, Regarding this scripture, it's not talking about just praying for your family and praying for your friends. It says pray for all people. Um, In other words, not just your family, not just your friends, not just your coworkers, but all people, everyone that you come in contact with and and making sure that, you know, you're interceding for them. And uh, and then it goes on a little bit further. Um, It says pray this way for kings and all who are in authority so that we can live peaceful and quiet lives marked by godliness and dignity. And, uh, and I think that's another one. That one may be a little bit tougher right now uh, just because we have different uh, leaders in our life, whether it's, uh, you know, local uh, government officials or whatever. Like right now, it's just kind of a hot topic, especially in the area that we live in, you know, because there's so much um, turmoil and so, much, so many things going on. Um, but regardless of, of what we feel towards our government officials or our bosses or our pastors or whatever, regardless of, of how things have been and, and, and how it's going to be, we need to make sure that we're praying for them, that God will um, intercede with them and, uh, and move them in the right direction, whether they know it or not. And, uh, and so anyways, I just want to encourage you with that today to make sure that we're not only praying for all people, but, um, it's, but not just our families, and our friends, but for all people and, uh, and making sure we're interceding even for our government, government officials, even for our bosses, our pastors and everyone, uh, that God directs their path. Um, and like I said, whether they know it or not, you know, sometimes we look at our government officials and we're like, they're not following God's will at all. Um, well, let's just make sure we're praying for them and, uh, and God will order their steps whether they know it or not. So let's pray real quick. God, I thank you for this day and I thank you for all the blessings. And God, I just pray that you order our steps. Uh, God, that you move us and, uh, and mold us and make us into who you want us to be. God, I pray that we, uh, we become more intentional on spending time with you. And uh, God, that we um, take those moments to, to pray with you and not just... Uh, go through it as uh, something that we have to do or something that we got to do that day. But God, that we'll take uh, special interest in spending time with you instead of just making it an objective that we have to complete that day. And God, I just pray that you order our steps, God, that you uh, be with our, our church officials, our, our bosses, God, uh, at our jobs and for our government officials, God, everyone uh, that you've placed over us at this time. God, I just pray that you order our steps and order their steps. And uh, God, that we just uh, honor you in everything that we do and everything that we say. And God, I pray that you put someone in our path this week uh, that we can witness to and set an example for, uh, that they come to know you. Uh, And and God, I just pray that you make that evident to us. And God, that you encourage us and uh, order our steps in every way. In Jesus' name, amen. Y'all have a great day.